it going, Mama Llamas? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Antonia's Legacy. Happy Saturday, you guys, and also a very, very, very happy birthday to Miss Antonia. So if you missed it in the last episode, um, I did tell you guys that today is Antonia's 23rd birthday, and she's just over at uh, her parents' house right now playing with little Jade and her little brother. He's super cute. Um, and we got Penny the cat over here, which she is the cutest little thing. Um, but yeah, so she did go ahead and go over to her parents' house this morning for a little bit of a birthday breakfast. Crystal has always made Antonia, um, a grand breakfast ever since she was a little baby for her birthday. And it's just kind of like a little tradition that they have, you know, like she likes to do, um, like Antonia loves pancakes. So she'll make like pancakes and put like candles on them and she makes eggs and bacon and just all the good stuff. So, um, it's really nice for Antonia to be able to spend some time with her family um on her birthday <laughs> look at her she just looks so happy she's so so cute um but yeah so we're pretty much just gonna be chilling out all day today kind of exchanging gifts with her parents um for her birthday i mean she didn't obviously she, she didn't get anybody else a gift because it's her birthday but she's 23 i mean like I like to do this in my let's plays and like even my personal gameplay. I like to do individual birthdays, not all the time, but I do have, I do keep aging off in my story driven kind of let's plays um, and saves just because I, when I have aging on, I feel like I don't have enough time to spend with the sim um, in their particular life stages. So I just like to keep it off just so I know that um, before they age up, they have done everything that I want them to do in terms of like the life stage that they're at. So yeah, it's her 23rd birthday, but um, she's not going to be aging up into an adult for a while. But yeah, so she she's going to be a young adult for a hot minute, which I'm totally fine with. I want as much time with Antonia as possible, but um, she's going to pet Penny. Penny hasn't been with us for a long time. Um, I'm I think they got Penny when Antonia was like right about to move um, out of the house. So she's going to be living for a long time. But you know, when she pets Penny, she's always like, oh gosh, I I wish I had a pet like not even a cat not even a dog just a pet you know what I mean um but okay Reagan just decides to walk in all the I I seriously think that like Reagan and her are very 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 close like yeah there's Mila and Bella but I feel like they're probably the closest out of everybody oh but gosh look at this grand breakfast pancakes omelets bacon oh my gosh Crystal you did a freaking amazing job so let's go and add everybody to the group so we can all eat at once once Ooh, tag wait stop <laughs> is tag here oh my gosh i will literally we haven't spoken to tag or antonia hasn't spoken to tag in like i don't know like a month maybe like i if he's here um i'm gonna kick him out but finally it's time to eat antonia is freaking starving so let's go ahead and grab a serving together all of us um so tonight we do have plans with all of our friends so let's go ahead and go to the calendar so it looks like so we do have the holiday happy birthday antonia and i put drinking and party spirit for the traditions and then tonight is a night out and it's going to be at the oaklo cinema and dining and it is this really beautiful <laughs> like restaurant um rooftop restaurant actually up in san my shuno where she used to live so i think that will be really fun oh my gosh it's so gorgeous i totally forgot who made it um i always forget who makes like these really cool community lots that i like talk about um but i definitely do know who made who would make it if i went ahead and checked it out like typed it up or something so i will link it down below um their gallery id because it is so perfect and it's a rooftop diner and there's like a whole like uh uh, cinema up on th at the top and there's a bar and everything is just amazing i love it like I, I love creators like i just cannot make some of the stuff that some of these people make um but it looks like everybody's enjoying their grand breakfast especially Jaden. he's going ham he's like uh, sticking his uh, dirty little fingers all up in the food um but that's okay it's his food it's fine uh but why is she bored oh she's curious about clubs okay so yes we do need to have a book club um soon with antonia actually doesn't work tomorrow so we can definitely have a book club tomorrow maybe at a cafe or we can definitely do it um maybe at antonia's house or arthur's apartment maybe because um if you don't remember he is kind of like the co-founder of uh and i quote 
the radical readers <laughs> and tony's actually really considering starting her like kind of like autobiography and arthur actually did he offered to be a co-writer which antonia is very grateful for but i don't know how it's gonna work if like antonia is talking about her life like from her point of view because arthur hasn't been with her since she was a baby so he wouldn't know um, but I don't know. We will just see what happens. And when it comes to um, the whole DNA thing, uh, I think she is going to do a little bit more digging. You know, she is obviously nowhere near <laughs> finding out who her birth parents were. Like, I'm pretty sure this whole Let's Play um, or this season, maybe, if there's different seasons, is just going to be um, like a gradual incline of like Antonia finding out who this person is and this person and this person all the way until maybe she finds out who her parents were which is um or are which is the ultimate goal um in her life right now so i think she is gonna give it another shot um at a either okay i think she's gonna sign up for a different dna um like testing place or I think she's going to ask Kennedy if she can meet up with Kennedy's parents, um, Antonia can, and kind of get to know them a little bit and see if they know anything about um, maybe her extended family or even intermediate family. That would be um, absolutely, that would be so freaking wild. Even to find out who, like, her, if she has another sibling. Like, that would be so crazy. I'm really interested to see how they would look like. Just because Mariella looks really similar to Antonia and they're not even, like, biologically related, like, at all. Um, and Jaden looks a lot like her, too. So that'll just be really, really freaky, especially for Antonia. But um, we'll see. I really do hope that uh, she has more luck than she has right now. Because all she found out, even though it's really good that this happened... Um, all she found was Kennedy, which, oh my gosh, Kennedy's so pretty, but she's, like, so mean, so I'm just, like, uh, I gave everybody a makeover ag again, <laughs> um, just because I deleted some of my CC, because it was, I had a lot of broken CC, so I was, like, you know what, I'm gonna give everybody another makeover. It just seems a little more realistic to me that my Sims are not wearing the same thing every day forever, um, but Ian Clark said, sorry to bother you, heard what a great person you are. Would you be interested in making a generous donation to a charity? And you know, we really, really would, um, but we just don't have the funds to spend on stuff like that right now. I can assure you though, if Antonia ever became um, a millionaire from like her books um, that she writes, I am very sure that she definitely would donate to so much charity. Um, but we have to, let's see, what time is the dinner? It's at seven. Okay, so we do have about five hours, but I did want crystal to give antonia the gift it's from her um marco and where is she mariella so they all pretty much chipped in and got her a gift and it is a uh crystal clear digital camera which antonia really likes photography like on her phone she loves taking pictures of what she does whether she goes hiking which we definitely need to go hiking um or kind of like oh my gosh don't get stuck in the fridge honey uh there she goes okay oh my gosh do you guys remember that one time that antonia went to the bathroom and she literally like peed standing up like this woman was actually a man surprise let's go ahead and give this camera to antonia which can i click on it and do like give a gift okay no i actually have to click on antonia which is totally fine um who's calling you girl tag miller Hey, beautiful. Do you want to go on a date today? I can wait for you to get ready. Oh my gosh, Tag probably knows that it's our birthday today. Uh, no thanks, I'm busy. No, no thanks, I'm busy right now. Oh my gosh, I can't, but I feel like he's gonna be, even though like he wasn't even that into us, I feel like he's gonna turn out to be like the weird obsessive uh, ex-boyfriend, even though we literally only dated for like, I don't know what, like two or three months, like I said. Well, let's go ahead and give the gift to Antonia, and I think she's really gonna be surprised. I don't know why. Like, I feel like she was expecting a much, much different. Like, I don't know, maybe a book? <laughs> because her whole family knows that um, she likes books. I really don't think she's expecting this, but okay, let's go ahead. I'm gonna take a picture real quick. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, she's like, here you go, Antonia. Surprise! 
happy birthday. And she's like, oh, thank you, mom. What is it? What'd you get me? <gasps> no way. Are you serious? <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh. Yay. So exciting. So we can definitely use this camera um, to take many, many photos with and capture all those memories. I love how she just sat back down. Um, but we can definitely use that tonight too for our dinner but let's go ahead and give mariella a hug because she was in on the gift too so you know what we're gonna give her a hug but let's go ahead can we put this in the fridge no we can't shoot like i don't want to waste food but like i don't know okay let's just uh, put it in the dishwasher because i don't want it to um get spoiled and stink up the whole house and everything we could put this in the sink too um let's hug mariella like thank you mari i appreciate you and i think they're getting a lot closer um and a little bit more like how they used to be than before that whole situation where mariella found out what antony was doing and they got in that whole fight and didn't talk for like weeks <laughs> Um, but now I think they're they're doing pretty good. They're back to normal. So that's really, really good. So um, let's give her a heartfelt compliment. But that text from Tag was really weird. I did not expect that. So watch him like pop up tonight at the dinner. I mm, <laughs> I seriously hope not. I, I would beat him up. I would literally download the uh, <laughs> sacrificial, what is it? Uh, extreme violence mod and just beat his ass, I swear. But she did get a new moodlet and it says generous surprise from receiving a gift. Antony was so happy to get a gift recently from someone and is feeling pretty special right now. So that's really, really awesome. She likes everybody. She is having pleasant conversations. It's just a really good day right now. And she's having a wonderful birthday. But you know what I actually realized? We have not really done any like snow. <gasps> the romance. Oh, oh, it's oh my gosh. I wish tonight wasn't her birthday so bad. I would so go to that. Um, it's okay. We'll probably have another time to do that. But let's build a snow pal. And I really want to build one with Jaden. I think that'd be super cute. I actually don't know where he is. Is he upstairs? Um, where is he? What? Uh, disappearance of Jaden Mendez. <laughs> the documentary. No, okay. Where is he? I love how, like, they're coming out to watch her, but, like, where is Jaden? Stop. Oh my god, there he comes. Okay. Oh my gosh. I literally got so scared. But look at him in his little suspenders. He is literally the cutest freaking toddler that I've seen in a hot minute, but I swear we're literally gonna finish our snow pal before he even gets here. But look at them watching us. And Penny's coming out too. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I have never I think she wants to play with the laser pointer. I have never had a pet come out um to like oh my gosh, did she really finish the snow pal? Okay, you know what? Maybe we can do another one. Can we actually have a snowball fight with uh, Jaden? No, we can't. Okay, well, let's build another snow pal with him because we literally just finished like the amount of time it took him to get here. I'm going to speed up real quick, but um, oh, a night owl is actually in an hour. So yes, please hurry up and do this snow pal. But I want to watch it. Oh, baby. Oh, he's so cute. Little, st little stumbling. He's stumbling all over the place. He's so excited. I love it. I honestly cannot wait for Antonia to have kids. Like, I don't even, I don't want to think about it right now because, like, I want Antonia to live her life to the fullest. Oh, she's young and all that stuff, but it really does make me really happy when I watch her and Jaden bond and stuff. And he's probably going to be aging up into a child soon, which I'm really interested to see how that's going to work just because um, he was adopted too by Marco and Crystal. So I'm really interested in seeing how their relationship will be different from Mariella. I mean, maybe it won't. Um, because, like, if you guys don't know, Mariella is, um, Crystal and Marco's biological child, um, which doesn't make it any different. You know what I mean? Like, biological, non-biological, they're still sisters, but I'm just really interested. You know what? I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna bond over, um, that stuff. And I wonder why his parents gave him up for adoption. I'm hoping it wasn't as brutal as it was for Antonia, but, um, you never know. But, ooh, wait, ooh! Oh my gosh, I have never seen that one before. That is an amazing snowman. What? I'm gonna take a picture of that. I've never seen a snow. I've always seen like these ugly ones, these ugly like two circle ones or whatever. Never have I seen a uh, three three part snowman. Let's rename it. Its name is Icicle right now. But what do I want to name it? Oh my gosh, wait. The Grinch. Because he just I don't know. He looks. Wait, is that bacon? Stop. Why do I think that's bacon? <gasps> no oh my gosh please uh, is that a stick oh my gosh i feel so stupid why did i think that was bacon at first oh my gosh I'm literally oh my gosh look at the sky okay i'm all over the place right now i just need to chill <laughs> but 
but um, a night out is about to begin. Are you ready to start? I'm very, very ready. Um, so let's see who all is going to be there. Arthur. Marielle is not going to be there because she celebrated with us this morning. So pretty much Arthur, Salim will be there. Um, Reagan, Bella, Mila, and then Kennedy will also be there, which as we all know, okay, as we all know, Kennedy has a little bit of a crush on Arthur. And the fact is, the fact of the matter is, okay, I'm not going to say too much because I know you're getting annoyed and we need to go to this party right now. Okay. But the fact of the matter is, is that Antonia, she doesn't know it yet. She really, you know, when like you, you have feelings for somebody, but like you don't want to admit it or like you really don't know. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Um, that's like her right now. Um, and I, I don't know. I don't know. So we will just see. I really don't know what's going on. Like I have no idea, even though I'm literally like God in this sense, like I'm ruling over all my Sims. Like I can just say they feel this way and then they will and it'll make sense. But like, I really don't know. And like, that's the beauty of the Sims, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and pick up with you guys at the, um, rooftop restaurant tonight. And we will be able to celebrate Antonia's 23rd birthday with all her friends. So see you then. We have made it to Antonia's birthday venue, and this place was actually recommended to us by Salim, which you go, Salim, because look at this beautiful, beautiful venue. So here is kind of like the dining area, and then up here we do have a movie theater, which I'm not sure if we'll get to tonight, which is totally fine. We just wanted to have a night out um, of eating with our friends for our birthday, and this place is just absolutely beautiful. So I will be um, laying the gallery creator of this community a lot down in the description below it is absolutely gorgeous um, but we have not actually ordered our food yet so let's go ahead and order for the table tonight so we will only be paying for our own food um, everybody else is gonna pay for their own meal so I'll be adding like um, the cost for their meals back to <laughs> he's like Antonio you're getting so old I swear <laughs> all right for some reason there was only water right here and I was like what the heck we're not all just gonna drink water and not eat for her birthday oh my gosh i should have thought about doing a menu obviously before um we came here but i went ahead and added a little bit of a menu here so i'm just gonna do some red wine for the ladies and then uh, let's go ahead and do a barley bale for Arthur and Salim. Okay, and then I don't want to do any appetizers tonight because it takes way too long. Dine out is so buggy, so I'm just not going to deal with it. Um, but for the main course, I do think Antonia kind of wants to try um, like these experimental foods, quote, you know what I'm saying? So let's do a sizzled brisket over sour clover salad. That sounds really good. Um, let's do that for Antonia. And then shepherd's pie, salim, uh, sweet and sour pork for Bella. We can do lobster tortellini for Reagan, Italian meatballs for, oop, Italian meatballs for me. And then Arthur, I feel like he would get some curry. Um, and then for Kennedy, let's get her um, a blah, 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 fish dinner. Let's get her a fish dinner. So there we go, 143 bucks. So our meal was $16. Um, plus three dollars so 19 bucks all we had to spend was 19 bucks which I'm actually really surprised because this is a pretty fancy place um, but it's snowing outside and I didn't put her in her outerwear just because um, I just didn't feel like it and like she has uh, like weather effects off for her so I was just like you know what 
Um, let's just keep her in this cute outfit. But ooh, it looks like she gained a sentiment. I really value the time we spend together. I think it's made us closer than ever. For Arthur, wait, who's making a toast? Oh my gosh, is Antonia making a toast? I didn't even ask her to do that. Wait, who's doing it? Um, let's see, are you making a toast? Wow, oh, okay, I have never had a sim make a toast before like autonomously that is actually really really cool i don't know who made the toast but they're just sitting back down this is actually going kind of well to be honest um but yeah if you didn't see that earlier which i don't know if you if you how could you not see it i mean i literally zoomed into the corner but Antonia got sentiments for kennedy mila and arthur and arthur said i really value the time we spend together i think it's made us closer than ever which i'm gonna raise your bladder girl because you gotta pee but let's go to arthur's um sim profile and see what um these sentiments are so arthur's sentiments about antonia is adoring oh my gosh arthur just wants the best for antonia and thinks she is so wonderful why does that make my heart literally happy like i'm smiling so hard from ear to ear and antonia how she feels about arthur is growing closer from quality time uh antonia appreciates that arthur makes time for her time spent together seems to bring them closer together so that is super awesome and then if we go to to Kennedy sim profile um Antonia does have okay so Antonia has a sentiment towards Kennedy but Kennedy doesn't have a sentiment towards Antonia like Arthur does so um that's really interesting but look oh my gosh I have never had a birthday like where the sims actually like consciously throw confetti and horns and stuff I've never had that so this is really really awesome but it looks like these two are doing a toast too oh my gosh everybody's wanting to get drunk tonight um let's see Antonia's a little tipsy from drinking and then what's this warm surroundings from warming lamp oh I've never seen that before is that what this is or is that this I'm pretty sure it might be this but let's go ahead and just chat it up with everybody whoa what is this items on the table are preventing your order from being delivered clear the table to receive your order what is it is it these menus right here i'm gonna go ahead and just delete everything on this table so we can actually get um, our order i don't want to delete this uh candle because it is a really cute so i'm gonna keep it here but hopefully um we'll be able to get our order now but let's go ahead and just chat it up with everybody see how everybody's doing thank them for coming um let's ask arthur about his day talk to kennedy a little bit see how she's doing she's been quiet tonight um brighten her day and then mila let's tell a funny story to everybody like yeah my third birthday i remember it as clear as day like i was chasing <laughs> i was chasing mariella around the park and um she fell and her eyebrow busted open or something <laughs> I have no idea, but something something along the lines of stupid childhood birthdays. But I don't know why you were just standing up in the middle of nowhere. Sit back down, Bella. Um, but yeah, hopefully we do get our food tonight. If we do not get our food tonight, okay, that's our food. That should be our food. Okay, good. Thank God. Um, oh, are we gonna get all our food? Oh, yes, perfect. Oh my gosh, look how good everything looks. And Arthur's got double the drinks. Oh my god that's insane um but what was this again a sizzled brisket over sour clover salad it's normal quality made by eliza pancakes interesting okay um but it looks absolutely delicious oh my gosh wait arthur is freaking i guess he's just not used to eating spicy food yeah it looks like arthur isn't used to eating spicy food like curry of course he isn't <laughs> that's so funny um but Antonia pretty much got all of her presents from everybody else earlier. They were all kind of small, nothing too crazy. Obviously, she's very, very thankful, though. Arthur actually told Antonia that um, he has a gift for her, but it's at his apartment. So, oh my gosh, don't glitch that. But I am actually really nervous. And Antonia is, too. He was like, yeah, it's kind of big. So I really couldn't bring it here. And she was like, oh, okay, well, I guess we'll go after we eat. But that was absolutely absolutely delicious dinner was a freaking amazing but antonia is drunk go home antonia you're drunk oh my gosh i hope she doesn't do anything dumb but let's see is everybody else oh okay she's she's feeling flirty interesting <laughs> and then what about you um you're feeling flirty too so that's also very interesting um so he's tipsy everybody else 
Um, yeah, pretty much tipsy and feeling flirty. Okay, I guess Antonia is the only one that's just not really feeling anything right now. But before we go to Arthur's apartment tonight, I actually did want to try one of these things. Um, so let's do her. And then I think Arthur wants to come over here too. And then let's do um, Reagan and Salim. I think that'll be very interesting. And Kennedy, can you please... Um, end the meal and pay the bill and we'll just add like the difference um to our account but oh my god antonia you're so drunk oh my gosh i feel like arthur and like everybody else is like are you okay like do you need some water <laughs> um oh my gosh but with the base mental mod um this thing actually makes your sim high like you smoked weed so it's gonna be crazy i think antonia's eyes are gonna turn red and everything um, but what does this say? Cloudy from using bubble blower. What was that? Oh my gosh. I'm actually really interested, but it looks like she has this mood lid, which actually I'm going to pause because I don't want it to go away. But it says togetherness from feeling close with someone nearby. Making time for another sim can be a source of joy. So that is really sweet. Um, but let's go ahead and talk. I guess she doesn't like it, but um, let's tell Arthur a unbelievable story. And then Salim, how about you talk to Reagan, which I know you were feeling flirty earlier. Like, I feel like he, he kind of likes Reagan. I'm very, ooh, I see it. I see it. Um, oh, she's blowing horns. That's awesome. But what are you doing over there? They're just standing around. I Stop. Okay. You know what? You guys can come and do um, the other one. So you can try. Sit and try. Um, Bella, sit and try. And Mila, you can sit and try. Did I do all that right? Yes, I did. Okay. So I'm really interested to see if she's going to get high. Because, like, last time I did this was ba with base mental, it was, like, they smoked weed kind of high. Um, so I'm, I'm very interested. But I'm going to wait till she's done and see what happens. I, it might not happen this time. I'm not sure. Um, but this is really crazy. So actually, Arthur, Arthur is feeling very f playful and he's feeling flirty. Okay, I definitely think they're done. They did not like that at all. Um, so how about you just come over and sit and you can sit over here too and just kind of just kind of vibe, just kind of chill. And Salim, stop. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, stop what you're doing. This is getting really annoying. <laughs> like I hate how um, I can't have them smoke that thing without like them freaking out or whatever. Um, Mila, you can stop too. Arthur, just sit here. Arthur was feeling a little flirty and he's not anymore, but like, I just, I, you know what? You know what? Let's just, you know, um, let's just uh, go to romance and uh, let's just compliment her appearance. Like, Antonia, you look beautiful tonight. And she's like, thank you. I appreciate it. <gasps> she's feeling passionate. Why? My first kiss. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? <laughs> thinking about our first kiss which was with tag which i don't think she's missing tag i think she's just missing the feeling you know um but you know what i'm gonna let's ask her if she's single he's like i know you and tag were like a thing but um oh my gosh what is she going on about girl you okay i love salim's just standing there like stop go and sit down salim and you can actually go sit with salim too because i think y'all like each other <laughs> I'm seeing someone. Wait, no, you're not. Stop, Antonia, you're not seeing anybody. Okay, I think she's talking about um, tag. I think like it glitched out and she's talking about tag, which I'm gonna raise your energy, but that is a complete lie. You freaking liar, oh my gosh. I hate you. But yeah, he, <laughs> he's just uh, chatting, chatting along with her, but she's feeling very passionate. So I love how like it says exchange numbers, but they like, I already have each other's numbers, but make a flirtatious joke. Oh my god, stop, Ali, stop. Oh my gosh, I can't. It's, it's, it's just the drink. It's just the drinks talking, okay? Like, not gonna lie, they both have feelings for each other, but like, I don't, I seriously doubt that he would be doing this if he hadn't already had a drink, which he's so, it says he's sobering up, so I don't know, he shouldn't be doing this, but how about <laughs> Reagan, you go. And can you flirt with him? Do that. Go ahead and do that. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, the chaos. But Antonia's really digging it. Stop. Stop. Kennedy is over here watching like, no. Because she's feeling passionate too. She's feeling very flirty from her drinks. And she's like giving them the side eye. But you know what, Antonia? Just do it. 
just uh, flirt with him back. I swear. I freaking swear. Just do it back. And Kennedy is not happy. Oh my gosh. She's like, bro, you knew. You knew. I told you straight up that I liked Arthur. And you're literally going for him right now. Like right in front of my face. Do they have... Uh, Oh my gosh, just keep going, I swear. Um, how about do you just compliment her parents again? Like, I really like your dad. <laughs> uh, and he, he doesn't know that Kennedy's watching them. Like, he's literally doing this because he genuinely feels these things about Antonia. Like, this is just flirting right now. Like, it's not anything too crazy. They're just flirting along. Um, and she is not very happy about it. So, uh, how about you go over here? and uh, ask about to say just kind of butt in kennedy is totally going to butt in into their conversation like i'm sorry something about kennedy just does not sit right with me like yeah sure she offered to help antonia find out her bi biological relatives but keep in mind this was before um arthur like she didn't she didn't even know who arthur was at the time um so now that she like likes arthur and has a crush on him and sees that antonia and arthur are very close uh <laughs> i'm not sure if she's gonna be uh the mrs nice girl that we knew in the first place so um we'll see what happens i have no idea but what's up with uh him and reagan is like the flirting going well i didn't even check on that um they oh, she likes it oh my gosh yes i would kill to see these two together like they look like such a good couple so just flirt it up my guy give her a good old pickup line okay uh just i guess are you leaving <laughs> can i not talk to you anymore okay fine it is getting so so very late right now it's literally 5 a.m right now and antonia does need to pick up um her gift from arthur's apartment before she goes home and passes out because she's uh pretty drunk so let's go ahead and end the night out tonight um and then we will head over to arthur's and Sleem's apartment but i did want to go ahead and kind of delete everybody from like my household so i'm gonna do that and then i will pick up with you guys at arthur's house to pick up antonia's new surprise we are right outside of arthur's apartment and arthur's like okay antonia this is gonna be a really big surprise are you sure that you're gonna be fine um and she is breaking a sweat i swear she's very very nervous she's like what on earth could this man be plotting um and we're about to see okay so uh here's the doors let's go ahead and walk in let's just kind of like go uh, oh my gosh where are we shoot oh i got lost okay no it's right here oh my God, i can't believe i got lost so let's go ahead they're just gonna walk in the front door um let's go like right here together so go ahead and walk in and the first thing antonia sees she sees this cute this cute big old dog oh my gosh i'm like oh my gosh okay she sees this dog eating and she's like oh my gosh i didn't know you got another dog that's insane because salim actually has another dog named cole um and he's like no <laughs> i bought that dog for you and she's like i'm sorry what <laughs> And she's like, are you serious? And he's like, yes. You've been telling me you wanted a dog for like forever, a cat or anything. And I went to the Newcrest um, uh, shelter, animal shelter, and I got you a dog. Oh my gosh, where'd it go? Why did it run, why did it run outside? Go ahead and call it back. Oh my gosh. Antonia's like, you did not do that. Like seriously. You did not freaking do that. Thank you so, so much. Hug him. Oh my gosh. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. Look at this cute little baby. He's like cross-eyed and everything. Oh, he didn't. And um, Arthur didn't want to name him yet because uh, why can't we hug each other? Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Stop. Um, Arthur didn't want to name him because uh, he wanted Antonia to be the one. Uh, to name him, but he's gonna hug her and say, I'm so glad that you enjoyed your gift. I'm so, so happy. I was really scared that you were gonna get mad at me or something. Oh my gosh. I love it. Antonio, go come say hi. <laughs> um, what can we do? 
let's go ahead and uh, pet him. Oh my goodness, he's playing with this little chew toy. That's so sweet. Oh, go ahead, pet him, pet him, pet him. Get him, get him, get him. We don't want him to pee. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Arthur is literally the best person alive. You're literally joking me. Like, he got Antonio a full blown dog. I can't. I can't. Oh my gosh. And he made sure to get him from the shelter and not like um purchase him from like a breeder or anything. Um adopt don't shop, y'all, but uh Arthur walked into the pet shelter and was like, Give me the dog um that has been here the most or the longest. And they pointed out this little fella. Uh mixed breed. It looks like it kind of looks like husky and I don't know, maybe a Doberman or something, but Oh my gosh, I love it. She is so obsessed. Give him a treat. She already wants to hug him. Oh my gosh, are they already friends? Stop. I swear to God, they're already friends. Oh my gosh, so sweet. Oh, but it's 8 o'clock a.m. and Arthur um, offered Antonia um, she could sleep in his bed tonight and he would sleep on the couch. So this is all just super, super great. She is totally absolutely in love like this is our first animal oh my gosh we don't even have a name for him yet like he, he's just so sweet Ugh. and antonia just she <laughs> is still feeling why can't you go in stop um antonia is just still feeling um teleport go okay you know what Salim? just go out here and make a snow angel or something i don't care um but arthur you can sit here and Antonio, you can sit here too. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he got us a dog. You're literally like, what the heck? She's like, how? How and why? How and why? And he's like, well, you, you've you literally been begging me. Or not begging me, but like begging for a pet. Like you've always wanted one. But you said that um, you just didn't have the money to buy one. You had the money to support one with food and stuff, but not to buy one. And, you know, I was just like, there you go. There you go. <laughs> and she always raves about how you should always adopt and never shop and all that stuff. So she is very, very, very incredibly thankful. Um, for everything that he oh, has done and thing. he <laughs> I, I feel like they're talking about like how Kennedy was acting weird tonight like and she's like I don't know man she was really quiet and like you know she has a crush on you right and he's like uh yeah I definitely I definitely 100% know um and it's kind of weird so can you like keep an eye out like <laughs> and Tony's like yeah she was definitely giving me the stink eye <laughs> um last night so I I just um I really hope she likes me just because that, you know, she's my first biological relative um, that I've ever met. So I just hope that we can maintain a decent friendship. But if we go into Arthur's relationships here, um, you will actually see two very <laughs> unknown women. Okay. Um, so this is actually Arthur's mom, Meredith. And this is his sister. Who She is so pretty. She is gorgeous. Like the genes in his family run so very well. But Arthur actually got this sad moodlet, which is grass not greener there from Friends Problems. A friend told Arthur about problems in their relationship, bad things going on indeed. And even relationships that seem good from the outside may have their problems and just hide them well. Grass is not always greener in other in others yards wow that's that's really interesting maybe antonia's she's either talking about the relationship with her and kennedy or maybe like her past relationship um with her and tag maybe she mentioned how tag kind of like invited her to get something to eat or something the morning of her birthday and she was like kind of freaked out but here's cole there he is he's so cute i don't know why he's so sad but oh my gosh is our dog really like dirty right now like we haven't even had him for like a minute and stuff um but oh my gosh it is so early antonia you need to go to sleep baby girl like you're not even tired um but i'm gonna end the episode here guys what a freaking day um i think we can all just say that kennedy is giving some weird vibes obviously and just hope and pray that she doesn't do anything to maybe ruin antonia in one way or another whether it be her relationship with arthur or her journey to finding her biological relatives i mean you never know you never know people's true intentions but i definitely think that we might play in arthur's house hold next episode and kind of get to know meredith and sierra like you guys can get to know them just a little bit more and um his backstory and stuff because i think he is a really special human being and i think he has a lot to offer 
um, when it comes to his life and his story. So yeah, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Don't forget to leave it a like if you enjoyed it. I always like hearing from you guys and seeing your feedback. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to become a mama llama. I love y'all. Bye-bye.